with my channel. So today's video is going to be like a video that's not really got a title but I am definitely going to think of something. I've kind of got a lot that I want to talk about this year in particular and this is just one of those videos where I want to talk about what's on my head, how I'm feeling and just, I don't know, this video is kind of like how to... Stop. I always get messages when I'm filming. It's just a video on how to push yourself, or not how to push yourself, but trying to push yourself in life to be the best that you can be. Now I have written down quite a lot of notes for this because if I just sat down and I just started talking then I would literally not have a clue what I'm saying. So I have kind of written some notes. So if I'm looking over- Jesus Christ. I'm gonna have to put my phone on silent. Right, sorry, it's because it's been going off in another video that I was filming as well. Anyway, so I am literally gonna be going through some like pointers that I've written down and going through what they say. I think it's really important to talk about these things. Obviously it does link back to mental health and that is obviously really important to me, especially in children and you know, anybody really, but this does kind of link back to that. Now this year I kind of reached the point in my life where I thought this is the time of my life where if I want to do something in my future this is the time where I can like make that happen. If I want something or if I want to do something then I have to start now. I got to the age of 20 and that actually genuinely did change my view. Like 2020 has changed my whole look on life and I started to think that if you want to do something now is the time don't say i'm gonna do it next year i'm gonna do it next month or whenever like you can start doing whatever you want now unless you're not old enough do you know what i mean but i just think you know i i do actually think about this quite a lot i don't want to get to an old age so i don't want to get older and look back on my life and think i wish i had done that or I was so young then I could have easily done that because having regrets is probably one of the worst things that you could have because it's like you've wasted that time of your life you don't want to go into your future and think that you've wasted any part of your life you want to feel like you've really accomplished something and that doesn't mean to say that you don't have regrets in things that you've done accidentally but I mean when it comes to things that you wanted to do don't not do them for a reason that's you know just stupid just try your hardest to do things because if you do look back and have regrets and you do feel like you've wasted your life that is probably one of the worst things that you can think when you're older is that you've wasted your life because you only get one life i literally used to be so motivated in life with my gcse's I would literally be getting up, writing to-do lists the night before, waking up in the morning, knowing exactly what I'm doing at specific times of days, and that would feel good to me. I'd be ticking off my list. I'd be going to school, just getting on with the day. You know, I didn't particularly enjoy it, but then I didn't hate it. I was with my friends. And then I'd come home and I'd have a very particular routine. This is what I did, and that's what I ate at that time. And it was very structured and organized. People would hate that. Like, some people would absolutely hate that. Me, personally, that that's what I love. That's what you know makes me happy is having things organized and i don't think that's a bad thing because it means that things get done and they get done quicker than if you hadn't had the schedule and i like that and it's just a sense of accomplishment and what i also used to do is i used to teach my mum english and i also well i say teach i used to just pretend you know what i mean like I even doing my gcse's i would set everything up teach my mum art teach her english and it just kind of helped me as well i always wanted to be a teacher i still think that's something that i might be quite good at but it's just my anxiety and my confidence isn't quite there and i think that maybe be my kind of talking because I do like to talk I think my talking does come through on YouTube as well so I think that's something that I like I also used to teach my dad French and I just liked that whole process of things so maybe in the future I could do more kind of educational videos on YouTube if that's something that people wanted to see I would be getting my revision done really well. I would be so motivated with revision. I always made loads of videos on my YouTube channel. People did like to see them and I was just really an absolute whiz at revision. That doesn't mean to say I got really good grades. I did definitely get good grades at GCSE in comparison to like A levels and stuff because of the effort that I used to put in, but I enjoyed revising. I looked forward to it. And I don't know where that kind of went downhill, um, but it was definitely an organization thing that I enjoyed. I was a lot more motivated with YouTube as well. Last year was a kind of very different year. I was feeling a lot more unmotivated with life and I don't know what it was. I think I just got to the point where obviously my life had changed a lot. I'd started uni, 
things had changed a lot and the people that I was with had changed and it just felt a lot different and also it's kind of adapting. I was in between homes, I wasn't at my house, I wasn't always at my um, boyfriend's flat that I was with at the time, I'm not with him now. I was kind of in between places and it's just like you just don't know where you are, like this is not your space i don't know it's like i didn't have a routine and i thrive off routines i've been living in the flat that i'm in now for the last kind of three four months actually probably longer now but four months four maybe five i don't know and i've really only just started getting a routine it does take me a lot of time but i thrive off it i need that routine i need those to-do lists and that's what makes me happy and I've really only just started to realise that. Yeah, last year to me it was kind of the year to make me realise that I need to kick myself up the bum and actually get stuff done this year and this decade. I also had a bad diet last year. Now I don't want to, you know, call anybody out here but the person that I was with at that time, the person I was in a relationship with, did not have the best diet. They used to snack a lot, they used to eat a lot of terrible things and obviously if somebody's there eating loads of stuff next to you you kind of get you know hungry and stuff like that so it is nice now to be with somebody that doesn't do that and you aren't tempted by things i am the one that controls the cooking i'm the one that controls the food shops so therefore what i eat or what jamie eats is up to me basically um obviously i buy him what he wants to eat but it's not excessive amounts of random sugary snacks as i said i had no motivation last year i just couldn't kind of see i don't know i don't know if it was because i wasn't happy with who i was with or with like uni or whatever i don't know but it, i just had no kind of ambitions no motivation to do anything and you need to have goals in life like people say you know some people do say don't set goals because it's demotivating when you don't achieve them but if you don't set a goal then you won't achieve that anyway i think it's quite good to have goals because then you've got something to work for you know how to get there and you can do that and like i said um i've written down i do thrive off doing things on my own and that doesn't mean to say i don't like company i love being with my friends and i always to live with my boyfriend and he's there all the time um apart from today's at work but do you know what i mean like i i like people's company and i would struggle to live on my own but i wouldn't never move back in with my family home i would always financially like i would get a job just so that i could stay at home because i do thrive off myself and my own company and that is what i love i love my own company i love doing things by myself and just having my own thoughts and being organized and motivated and doing things for myself obviously i people might say yeah well you haven't got a job so you don't really do stuff for yourself you rely on other people's money or the government's money but for me that's something that i'm working on and that's you know my thing but what i mean is like i thrive off just cooking for myself cleaning for myself doing my own washing all that sort of stuff you know making things happen for myself i like to do things on my own if i'm gonna do something i want to do it on my own because it's my thing if you know what i mean also i think with this i don't know what this video is but it's kind of like a you need to push yourself reminder video but i think for me is i've got to this stage where i really want to push myself because when i was younger and i had selective mutism and really 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 bad anxiety i of to recover from that you have to push yourself people around me would try and push me to do things they would try and encourage me you know there's a difference between encouragement and force and some people were good at encouragement and some people were you know not so great at that if you're forcing somebody to do something that's not them making you know that's not them pushing themselves you're pushing them making them feel uncomfortable and that's never going to be a good thing if somebody in their own kind of mind does something because they're pushing themselves that's success that's progress that's them recovering and that's what I did. I only recovered because I would push myself. And I would say, you know, people would look at me and think, oh, you can't do this or you can't do that still. You can't push yourself that much. But trust me, in my own head, I know how much I used to struggle. I know how much I used to kind of cry because I couldn't do things or I was worried about things. I was scared about absolutely everything. The anxiety that I felt in my stomach 24 seven, I know how that felt and I know how I feel now. And it's pretty much all gone so for me to get from that to this is in my head pretty goddamn good so i'm proud of myself for that and i want to use kind of what i've done to help other people and that's what i'm going to be doing this year on 
to my channel i am going to be um help trying to talk to people a little bit more on here about my kind of thoughts and stuff sorry my hair is really annoying me today i'm trying not to flick it too much because i don't want to get it stuck in the candle well i say stuck i don't want to burn my head off this year i definitely want to step it up i definitely want to push myself a little bit more again you are the only person that can push yourself you are the only person that can make things happen somebody else can tell you to do something but that doesn't mean you're going to do it you know nobody can tell me what to do they can advise me and i can take their advice but if somebody says do this i'm not gonna i'm not gonna do that if i don't want to do it do you know i mean you are your own person and i think that's what helped me to recover it's that i started to think do you know what georgie you don't have to do what somebody else says you know respectfully but you can do if you're uncomfortable with something speak about it and if they're not happy with that then just don't do it you know i i sort of took that attitude and i know that it's not the greatest attitude to have but it did mean that i did recover a lot quicker and that is the most important thing to me this year i am obviously going to be focusing on my skincare range i don't know if i've done my announcement video yet but i do actually have my first product sitting right next to me here um this is what it looks like sorry it's quite bright um, but I'll just show you really quickly a little sneak peek. Um, it is obviously um, in the works. So the labels and everything might change. It is just something that I am going to be working on. And it is like completely draft. But yeah, this is my first product. And um, this is actually mine. I am going to be completely sterilising bottles and everything. But I am doing a video on that, don't worry. But yeah, I'm going to be focusing on that this year. There's a lot I want to bring out. There's a lot I want to do and focus on. I want to make this like my thing that I do, my hobby and earn a little bit of money on the side like that is what I'm aiming for there's a lot of ideas I've got do I have the time probably not but am I gonna make time yes YouTube I'm gonna be focusing on YouTube I am aiming for three videos a week 5 p.m. Monday Wednesday Friday if that doesn't happen the video that I aim to get up will go up the next day or whenever I can like it's it's, it's a schedule but it's not you know i'm gonna beat myself up because i haven't done it kind of thing social life i am gonna try and be a little bit more social with kind of people friends things like that you know doing things that i wouldn't usually because usually i'm like oh, i've got my schedule i've got to get home i've got to do this i've got to do that you know i've written down that i'm going to be washing when i get back oh can i go for that drink i don't know um so i'm going to push myself in that respect where i can say do you know what the washing can wait an hour will be fine you'd think that my flat would be extremely tidy considering i write all this stuff down but there honestly is so much i have to do that i actually struggle to find time to just tidy up i also want to do like i said more mental health discussions on this channel i want to talk about it a lot more because it is very important to me and it is something that as i'm growing older i've realized that a lot of people are struggling with it more and more some people i know last year or three people that i know took their own life last year and that is a massive number that is not something that should be happening so therefore mental health needs to be spoken about a lot more and it does affect me when i think about those people that have gone because i think you know why have they done that or not why have they done that but what what was going on in their head to make them think that and if they knew what what was going to happen would they have done that and i don't know i just want to talk about things like that a little bit more because you know my channel is just a nice little channel but i just think you know my place is to talk about mental health because i've got my experiences with that as well um of my anxieties and things i am actually going to be posting a lot less on my instagram and i think this is quite interesting for me is i'm going to be focusing on loads of other things i'm just I used to post like every single day sometimes even two or three times a day on Instagram and that's because I you know love to do my makeup I love to take selfies and post them but I'm not that person anymore I'm not a selfie person anymore like I don't do my makeup and think I want to take a picture anymore I'm just like I've done my makeup because I like my makeup nobody else really needs to see it because I'm happy with it that's how I am right now so if you notice that I don't post as much on Instagram especially selfies that's why it's definitely going to become more of like a personal thing and you know more friends and family another thing that's important to me is dieting and exercise so I'm not necessarily dieting I have purchased Alexandra's happy body plan she's from Love Island a few years ago and she had lost quite a lot of weight in a quick time like I know you might be thinking like oh Love Island like she's probably already thin but she weighed 11 stone and now she weighs 9 stone so she lost a couple of stone and I just really wanted to kind of have that routine I wanted to try something like that and I have lost weight already doing the plan and I'm really happy about it but it's just food wise I need assistance I'm 
fine with eating, you know, controlling myself. I'm not like out of control, but it's ideas for meals. Like I always have the same food over and over again because I just can't think of ideas. And even when I research them, I'm like, oh no. But this plan sets it out. I am doing a whole video on it, but it, mentally it just makes you feel so much more better. So much better. You've got more energy when you eat healthier. Doing the workouts makes you feel like you've got more energy. You're stronger, you're fitter. So for me, that is also something I'm gonna focus on this year. I'm gonna get to the point where I'm happiest with myself and I'm gonna stay there and I'm gonna really try there's no kind of thoughts in my head that's gonna be like oh do you know what just enjoy yourself it really annoys me when people say treat yourself yeah treat yourself if you've been good don't treat yourself every damn day if you want to lose weight like it really does annoy me because I'm in a group chat and loads of girls say come on enjoy life you only live once but if you're not happy with how you are then you will look back and think, oh my God, I've wasted my life not being happy. If you can go out there, make a difference with your body and yourself and be happy, you've not wasted anything. You're living your life to the best that you can be and you will look back being proud of yourself and glad that you did that rather than, you wouldn't look back and think, oh, I'm so glad I ate loads of cheeseburgers and I ate loads of mozzarella bites. You're gonna look back and think, I wish I didn't eat that. So it's not a, oh, I wanna treat myself, you treat yourself every day, enjoy life. Um, you don't have to treat yourself 24 seven to enjoy your life. I'm just gonna put that out there very, very strongly and clearly. Treat yourself once a weekend. You know, a little treat here or there, not all the time. So preaching is done with that one because I just felt like that just really annoyed me. Um, probably we'll talk about that in the future. Um, but yeah, just kind of final thoughts on this video is that you always need to push yourself to succeed. You will never really get to where you want to be if you just sit around and wait for it to happen. You need to put yourself out there and that doesn't mean to say that you're going to get it straight away or you're, it's going to take ages. Some things come quickly some things don't and that's just how life is but you have to push yourself to your limits don't let anybody else tell you what your limit is you know your limit and you know what your best is my school motto which it wasn't the greatest school in the world but the school motto was be your best and I always used to think oh for goodness sake like I hated the school it was not the best but the motto does make sense to me, like be your best. You can only be your best and then you will succeed. If you try and be better than your best, you're just gonna be failing and that's unmotivating. So just be your best and who you are. And don't let anybody push you. Do not let anybody push you into things because that will never go well. But along the way, make sure that with all the kind of aiming high and wanting to do things that you're being kind and respectful along the way because I know with my opinions and views is all like don't let people tell you what to do like I really strongly think about that but I don't mean to say you know get lost go away just don't you know in a respectful way be nice about the situation that's all I'm gonna say and be nice to people because you never know what someone is going through just don't care about what other people think that's what I'm trying to say um take people's advice and use it how you want to use it effectively but just make sure like I said at the beginning of the video that you don't have regrets when you get older that if you want to do something you go ahead and you do it now you make it happen whether it's starting up a skincare company whether it's making youtube videos whether it is losing weight or getting fit happy getting a job going and doing an interview going to uni like whatever it is if you want to do it make it happen because you don't want to have regrets so that's the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it um i know it's a bit rambly but it's just kind of things that's on my head to kind of get off my head and put it into a video. Um, so thank you for watching this video, I do appreciate it. And give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will be making more videos like this kind of monthly, like more chatty, what's on my head videos. And I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. So thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.